2022 has been a very interesting year, not only for my channel, but also my personal life, such as my brother's wedding and my leg surgery back in October. Now, with 2023 about to begin, I've got so many videos planned to make this year. Now, before we begin, I would just like to say thank you for subscribing to my channel. And for those of you who are watching this video for the first time or have never seen any of my videos before, please consider subscribing because I've got a few things planned to make over the next year of 2023. Let's start with some of the smaller things and move on to the long term plans. Reaction videos are pretty much going to remain the same as they are right now, and I have no true intention of changing them in the long run. But I do intend to change a few things in terms of like certain content I like to react to and switch things up a bit to make things a little bit more interesting. I still, still plan on intending to react to horror videos and funny videos as time goes on, but I want to branch out at times and react to things that seem out of order and I don't usually react to on this channel. Arma and Thomas the Train videos being some of them as examples, like some of the horror stories of Thomas, some of the Arma videos that have been suggested, like things using those as, ex as examples to give you guys an idea of what I'm looking forward to doing in the next next couple of reaction videos, which by the way, I've actually going to be taking a week's break in the new year to make videos and get them ready to go for the next year, for the entirety of the year, basically. Uh, I will be continuing to react to horror videos as the year goes on, such as Nuke Top 5 and SCP videos as, as things go on, but it, sometimes I have to take a break from those and go back to them much later on, because I was burnt out last year of watching SCP videos, which is why if you saw a gap on my channel of SCP videos not appearing for a long time, that's why. I just got burnt out and I didn't feel refreshed enough to come back and watch them, which now I am. So I'm going to be going back to reacting to some of those videos as time goes on. So in terms of reaction videos, not much else is going to change. I'm going to continue reacting to the back rooms by Kane Pixels as time goes on. So keep an eye out for those. And I'm even if it's, and if it's a bunch of like small videos, like one minute videos of Kane, Kane's going to mix it together. I may make those separate videos or make them longer videos, depending on what comes out. Because I know he made another video quite recently and I just haven't reacted to it yet. Nor have I seen it. So keep an eye out for that in the new year. And I think that's it in all terms of reaction videos, guys. Let's Plays, on the other hand, oh boy, I've got so many videos planned for you guys. Now, there are gonna be a bunch of Let's Plays planned throughout the dur entire duration of 2023, because I know back in 2022, I only did three, three Let's Plays. And yes, I did check before writing this script. <laughs> Uh, those games were Call of Duty Vanguard, Doom 2016, and Doom Eternal, which I had fun playing regardless of how people didn't enjoy Vanguard. I actually quite enjoyed it, and it's been a while since I've actually played like a true Call of Duty game. But we're, with this year coming around, we got more games that have come out, more games that I've actually become interested in, and some I actually have, have already have on deck and I are ready to play and record. Now, I've actually mentioned a couple of games over the over the last couple months that I will be playing in 2023 so I'm just gonna go ahead and list them again for you guys like the ones that I have on deck and ones I probably plan on playing over the future some of them being Choo Choo Charles, Ben the in the Dark Revival, Stalker, Shadows of Chernobyl, Call, Call of Pripyat, and Clear Sky all three of those Stalker games. Uh, Wally is a possibility which I will actually be putting a vote section for in the community tab so you guys can vote whether or not you want guys want me to see me play Wally or not because honestly I am a massive Wally fan since the movie came out and then once again when the game came out that same year for the PlayStation 2 yes I had a PlayStation 2 don't don't look too much into it I wasn't really much of a gamer in the early 2000s because I was like six and seven when I start when I actually started playing actual video games like Battlefront 2 uh the Incredibles and Wally, just to name three of them that I played the most on the PlayStation 2. And so, you guys want, want me to see me play Wally on the channel? I have no problem doing that. I actually just recently bought it while I was on during the Steam sale for five dollars. So, if you guys want me to see me be a kid again and play the game, I have no problem doing it because I've actually forgotten the storyline of the video game because the video game drives differently than the movie did 
So if you guys just want me to play it again, I've actually been it three times, but if you guys wanted me to play it again on the channel, I have no problem doing it. And it's going to be a whole new experience because it's going to be on the on the computer. So that's a bonus. Um, other games that will be played on the channel is Modern Warfare 2 and maybe even the War of the Worlds game that's coming out hopefully next year. I don't have an official date on that, so look forward I look forward to that because I've actually been keeping up with the uh, developers on their channel, keeping up what with how progress is going on the on with the game. And I love War of the Worlds. So <laughs> I've even seen the original 1953 adaptation of War of the Worlds. So <laughs> I am really looking forward to that when it comes out. I might even get Mitchell to play with me, Crazy Mitch 42. I might I want to try and get him and a couple of other friends to play with me in this game because it's a it's a survival horror game. So that's gonna be very interesting. Now keep in mind the order of the videos of the video games I had just listed won't be in the order of how I said them. Some of them one of them can come out even now that's not even at the top of the list and come and a game that's at the top of the list can come out much later on. But I do intend to play a couple of uh, different types of games, some of them being survival, some of them being uh, first person shooters. I've really decided to branch out lately because I don't normally play um, world building games. But ever since I started playing Genshin Impact, I started to look at different types of mechanics and like what I'm good at. I'm good at first-person shooters, but I'm not great, so I want to just change things around. And with Stalker, that is something else I've been also interested in ever since I reacted to the Stalker video back during the summer. So that 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 I'm interested in. And I heard a rumor that a fourth game was coming out, so I want to catch up on the entire franchise from there. Now, I think that's it in terms of video games that I will be playing on the channel. There might be more games coming out later this year, and some of them I may not even have heard of. And I'll probably just play them later on, but who knows? We'll see as, um, as time goes on. So I think that's it in terms of gamings for right now. Gaming, gaming videos for right now. If things change along the way, I will just add more uh, video games to the list of my continuation of 2023. And we'll just go from there. Now, on the topic of games, really quickly, I know I only got three Let's Plays out this year because I've had scheduling problems because the videos were way too long to make. And, well, that's kind of changed right now because if you guys don't know the ongoing problem I've had for a while, I had to get ankle surgery back in October. If you got, I'm not going to go into too much detail into it, so because I've already explained it before, so I'm just going to leave a link in the description below to the community tab, which should be right here, telling you guys the entirety of the situation I had to go through and that we're, I'm in th almost three months now of the surgery, so I'm good on that front. But in early 2023, my ankle fixator will be coming off either at the end of January or the first week or so of February. And then it goes a duration of duration period of heal, my leg healing and learning how to walk again. So hopefully by the summer, I'll be walking again. Well, without a cane. <laughs> but yeah, so. I'm not gonna, one reason why I don't show pictures of it on the channel, because if you look up ankle fixator, You'll see exactly why, but if you guys are curious as to what it looks like, I have posted pictures of it on both my Twitter and Instagram. Both link ads will be here, and links are always in the description of the videos. They're always there, and they never go away. And the reason why I've never really shown pictures of it here on YouTube, because if you look at it, just it just tells you a lot, because I don't want to get my videos, my YouTube channel getting taken down because of some picture I showed on the channel, which may have to be blurred. That's why I don't show my leg anymore. I showed it in the beginning, but I showed it while it was still bandaged up, not with the device underneath it. So, yeah, so that's the reason why I've never actually shown it what it looks like underneath now. But you can find those pictures on Instagram and Twitter. And in terms of long term things, Surgery is definitely going to be happening again, just to have the fixator removed so I can start walking again. And in terms of everything else I currently have planned 
for 2023, for YouTube anyway, there's not really too much to be said here. So hopefully you guys, your guys' uh, New Year's is going well. Hope you guys are reconnecting with family, making new relationships, stuff like that. And I truly don't know what else to really say here, guys. So with that being said, hopefully you guys enjoy today's update for 2023. And I will be seeing you guys in the new year. Bye.